morning, welcome back to Vlogmas. It is Vlogmas day 21 and it is about 9.30 right now. I have yesterday's Vlogmas all scheduled to go up. I'm gonna make some breakfast, do a Peloton ride. I think I'm gonna do that same prenatal ride that I did a couple days ago because I just really, really enjoyed that. And it's only one of two prenatal rides that are available. So I should probably try the other one at some point, but it is a lower impact ride. I think it was labeled as a recovery ride. So I'll probably save that for a day where I'm just like not really feeling it and kind of feeling out of it but want to still get some light movement in my day whereas today I feel pretty energized I feel ready to go I want to like get a, a solid workout in also just want to say I feel like in yesterday's vlog I was pretty negative about what my hair looked like after straightening it for the first time in a year and I only woke up like an hour ago I haven't brushed it or anything but like I I like it today I don't know I don't know maybe if it's because it's a little bit messier it's not as just like perfect pin straight glued to my head. It's a little bit of bed head mixed in there too, but it just, it took forever to do yesterday. But now that it's done, it just feels so easy and low maintenance. And here comes the dogs. All right, you've been fed, you've been taken out. Do you just want cuddles? Is that what you want? Hi, baby. I don't know, it just feels, it feels nice. It feels smooth and soft and easy. You know when it would actually be really nice to have my hair straightened is when I go into labor because I feel like it's just so low maintenance. Once it's done, it's done and I could leave Leave it like this for days on end. I mean, not that I can plan when I go into labor and style my hair because of it, but you know what? Maybe around my due date, I'll straighten my hair just to uh, to give myself a shot at having it be so just easy and carefree when I'm in labor. Excuse me, little lady. You are sure vocal this morning. My goodness. By the way, I've seen a couple comments asking about my due date. I am due May 22nd of 2021. Yeah, you're gonna have a sister. A real human sister. <laughs> Last time my hair was straight, it was not long enough to put in a high pony like this. Like if I tried to do it this high, the bottom pieces were too short and they'd fall out. And I love this. This looks so cute. <laughs> Definitely feeling the hair more today than yesterday. Okay, let's ride. Hello. Oh, this lighting is, this is like the best lighting I've ever had in my bathroom. Literally didn't change anything. I guess it's just the time of day. The lighting is bomb. <laughs> so I got a little bit distracted this morning. After my Peloton ride, I was just scrolling through my phone and I saw a couple people do this like Instagram stories thing. This little trend where you do just a question box of what old photos or photos on your camera roll people want to see. And I was like, oh, that'll be fun. I'll take like 30 minutes and do that before I move on with my day. And then I just like totally got sucked in to going through my old photos. I like, I got to the point that I actually like got out my old photo hard drive from high school. It was a rabbit hole for sure. And before I knew it, it was like one o'clock. You know what? It was fun. And especially with COVID and everything, I feel like going through old photos and reminiscing is, it's actually extra special and extra fun. <laughs> Anyways, now I am actually gonna do my hair. Well, no, before I do my hair, let me do my my eyebrows. <laughs> but I'm thinking I, I wanna switch to a middle part for today and do like the loose waves with the straightener that I used to like a year ago. And then I wanna go through my closet today and do like a, a modified closet clean out because I talked about this a few vlogs ago, but literally like half the stuff in my closet doesn't fit me anymore. And I feel like it's been kind of discouraging for me when I go into my closet and I'm like, okay, what do I want to wear? But also I have no idea which of this stuff is actually going to fit me. So it takes kind of like the fun out of getting dressed. And so my original thought was that I would box them up and put them in the garage. I don't know why I was opening my skincare fridge for my eyebrow gel. But then I saw a comment that suggested that instead I hang them in one of the office closets upstairs that way, that way postpartum, when I'm wanting to go back through those clothes and see what I wanna keep, what I wanna do away with, what fits, it'll be easier to go through because it'll all still be hanging up instead of like boxed away. So I think I'm gonna do that. But before that, we we are gonna try and style my hair the way I used to. I don't even know if my hair is gonna like take to a middle part. <laughs> Look how much more like volume this side has than this side. <laughs> also, this part is not straight. Let me try again. I think I have like a parting comb. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. Okay. Oh. Okay, here it is, middle part. <laughs> I am gonna turn on my straightener and the way I used to curl my hair with a straightener was so easy for me, but it's something that definitely took me a little while to get good at. It's just like a certain angle and a certain movement and I don't know if 
the muscle memory is still gonna be there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it the way I used to, but hopefully by the time I get to the top layer, it at least looks decent. <laughs> okay, I don't wanna start with this front piece because I'm sure the first one I do is not gonna be great. We'll start with this one. It's a little further back. If I mess up, I can hide it. I know I used to curl away from my face and it was just kind of like a wrist movement and then I would let go a little bit before I got to the bottom so that the ends were a little bit straighter. Okay. Oh, 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 I lost a piece, but how fast did I used to do it? That's not bad. Okay, I think the muscle memory is totally still there. That just, my hand kind of just like took over. I wasn't really, really thinking about it. Oh, and then I just remembered, I didn't do all the pieces away from my face. I would do some towards my face so that the curls wouldn't all like come together in one big curl. And so I kind of alternate. So I'll do this one. I think I was always better at doing them away from my face. They never looked as good towards my face, but that's fine. I just remembered that I used to hairspray each section when I finished and I don't think I have hairspray anymore. So these, these little waves are probably gonna fall pretty quickly, but it's fine. Okay, here is our first side done. So I'll go ahead and do this side to match and see that now. <laughs> Ta-da! I feel like the way I would describe my hair right now is like every girl who goes on The Bachelor. <laughs> like I feel like all the girls that go on The Bachelor have these like loose little like tousled beach waves with like the, the straighter ends. But I like it. I mean the girls on The Bachelor have really cute hair so not mad about it. I feel like it looks cute. Again, kind of same thing as yesterday. Doesn't really feel like me. But I definitely like it more like this than I do just fully straight. And it looks so different now than it did last year when I used to style it like this because my hair was like, what, five, six inches shorter? And it just, the extra length, the added length with these kind of loose curls really changes the look. Anyways, uh, let's head into my closet and start this clean out. I saw a comment that said that I always clap when I'm excited and I feel like I just clap all the time. So I guess I'm just excited all the time. Let's go. <laughs> And here's what my hair looks like from just a little bit further back where you get the full picture. Also, outfit of the day, sweats again. <laughs> These are the same H&M maternity sweats I wore yesterday, but just in the pink color that I got. And then this fun little printed tee from a clothing boutique called Bohm. Well, I took a little pause, a pause I had not even started yet. Um, right as I was kind of setting up to start this closet clean out. I started getting some pretty bad back pain. So I just went and laid down for a little while, did some stretches, rolled around on my exercise ball, and I'm feeling better. <laughs> Still having a little bit of back pain. So what Steven and I decided is I am going to section off all the clothes that I want to be moved upstairs to the office closet and he will do the actual moving. So <laughs> hopefully I'll still be able to do this today because I'm actually really excited about it. Even just kind of like looking through, I have like my dresses and jumpsuits here. I have some really cute stuff that would still fit me now that's also pretty comfortable but I just I don't even really bother looking through because in my brain nothing's gonna fit me but the reality is there's plenty of stuff that fits me I just need to get rid of the clutter that is fogging up the closet and keeping me from being able to find the things that I can actually wear. Also, while I was laying down, my hair, I just kind of like, I had like tossed it back like this to get it out of my face. And then when I got up, it had kind of settled into, I guess it's side part, but not even really a part. Just kind of that like swept over look. And I know most of you guys are probably bigger fans of the middle part. Middle parts are very in right now, but I think I like this better. I think it looks like messier and beachier and it's just kind of nice having it more. I feel like it's more out of my face like this. So uh, let's get to closet clean outing, jazz hands, yay! I'm gonna start with the dresses and jumpsuits here. I also have some jackets on the end because like I said, I'm kind of excited about these. So uh, here we go. Wrap, yes, still fits, can totally wear this. Also, I feel like this is kind of cute for pregnancy anyways. T-shirt goes not even over there. I will put that with the t-shirts for later. This wrap works. This jumpsuit, I think, 
I think this would still work. I do not think this dress is gonna fit anymore. This jumpsuit doesn't fit. Pajama jumpsuit, definitely holding onto this down here. Doesn't fit. This dress fits, I just wore it on Thanksgiving or at least it fit then. But this is like the world's worst hanger. So we are gonna swap that out. And then there are some things like this dress, which I actually bought for a sponsorship photo and I just don't, A, I'm not gonna be able to wear it right now. It's like fitted and button front and B, I just don't really see myself wearing it. So I'm also gonna make a Poshmark pile and a donate pile. That way I'm not just holding on to everything if it's something I don't see myself really wearing again. Also, friendly reminder, you don't have to be pregnant to do this. If you're going through something and just the clothes in your closet are bringing you stress and fear for whatever reason, if your weight is fluctuating and you find that it's just overwhelming to go into a closet where things don't fit you. You know, I always think cleaning out your closet and actually getting rid of stuff is good, but sometimes it's good to just get it out of your of your space if you can. You can box it up, you can put it somewhere else, hold on to it if it's not something that you feel like you wanna just be fully done with, but kind of get it out of your immediate space and maybe it'll help. Hopefully this will help me. <laughs> okay, this one is a big question mark for me. This is a bodycon dress that I got for our main channel video where I tried wearing styles that usually make me feel insecure or uncomfortable. And I really enjoyed wearing this dress and I think I've worn it once or twice since then. But just with staying home, you know, this isn't the kind of thing I usually wear at home. But I feel like bodycon dresses with the baby bump are such a common pregnancy look. And so I kind of feel like I should keep this in my closet and try that. Try the the bodycon baby bump. So we'll we'll keep this in here. Keep that. That. I love this little jumpsuit. This was like one of my favorite fall items, but zero chance. <laughs> zero chance this is gonna fit me right now. And then there are things like this blazer, which was one of my favorite like conference speaking items, like business meeting. And I think it would probably still fit me right now, but I, am I gonna, I'm gonna wear this again someday. <laughs> I have to tell myself that this pandemic will not be forever. Someday I will be going to some sort of conference or speaking engagement and I'll wanna bust out my favorite comfy blazer. I guess I don't need to keep it. I'm gonna put it in the, the store elsewhere section because I. I, even though this might work now and fit now, I'm not gonna wear it. Same with this blazer and this blazer. <laughs> All right, area one, done. Let's go ahead and tackle the sweaters and jackets. This is kind of a cool angle. You guys are like right above my jackets. So let's do this. Good, 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 good. <laughs> this windbreaker, I really have not worn in months and I have a windbreaker I like better. So this one will go into donate over there. I have my Poshmark pile here. Whenever I'm getting rid of something that was gifted to me from a brand, like for a sponsorship, I just, I, I feel weird about then selling it on Poshmark. So those items usually instead I will donate and that jacket was from Fabletics. Oh, my Space Mountain windbreaker. I, I have not really worn this much recently because I feel like in my brain, this is something I wear to the parks. That I'll keep down here though. I think that would still fit. These two Disney crewnecks I got from American Eagle recently. Definitely keeping these, definitely keeping these down here. I wear these all the time. And anytime I wear those, I always get a lot of questions about where they're from. So they're from American Eagle. I will try to find a link for the description. If it's still listed on their website, link will be in the description. My unfiltered hoodie, keeping that here, of course. This is a jacket I thrifted a while ago and I think it would still fit. I think it's one of those things that's just really buried in here so I don't think to wear it, but I'm gonna keep it down here. I just broke a hanger. Oopsies! Then we have the denim jackets. I think all of these should be fine. No, you know what? This Madewell one, this was already getting a little bit tight on me pre-pregnancy. I've had it for years and I have a denim jacket that I just always prefer because it's looser and oversized. And this one's more cropped anyways, which I just don't think is really my style anymore. And so as much as it hurts me, cause this used to be one of my favorite pieces in my closet, we are going to Poshmark it. I kind of started in the middle because that's where I had the camera set up, but I finished going through all the way to the left. So I'm gonna kind of backtrack. This is like the softest thing I own. <laughs> it's like this very fluffy Hollister jacket. And I tried to wear it the other day and it. this was one of the things where I was like, this technically fits, but it was not, it was not comfy. <laughs> yeah, I think pretty much all of these sweaters are good. Now let's head over to my shirts. We've got long sleeve, short sleeve, tank top, everything. I think there'll be quite a few things in there that I wanna get rid of and also things that I wanna move upstairs. And then 
we will do my dresser, which has all my bottoms in it. And that is where I've had the toughest time recently. And so that's gonna be a big old purge. <laughs> I just spent like five minutes trying to find a good place to set you guys so I can go through all of this, but there really isn't one. So uh, we'll just do it before and after. Here is what it looks like before. And oh my freaking gosh, after. <laughs> This little section from that purple tank top onward is all of the shirts that no longer fit, but I want to keep. I knew I had a lot of cropped tops. You know, I'm a big crop top girl, but I don't think I ever realized just what percentage of my clothes are actually cropped because it is so much. I feel like at least half of my shirt, I feel like I pretty much split my tops in half between things that work during pregnancy and things that do not. <laughs> so this section is pretty much like crop tops, tight fitting crop tops, a lot of bodysuits, pretty much anything that was a bodysuit I put over here because the idea of trying to buckle something under my crotch right now does not sound fun or possible. <laughs> and then a couple like not cropped tops, but tops that just are fitting a little bit tight right now that I've tried to wear and didn't work out. And then a whole bunch, pretty much this whole section of like button front tie up tops that I just don't think would be able to accomplish accommodate the pregnant belly. I am so absurdly exhausted after that. That took so much out of me. Oh, I feel like I just ran a marathon. <laughs> that was a lot. Hopefully this is like somewhat entertaining. I feel like I, I love watching other people's closet clean out videos, but filming it myself, I'm like, is this boring? <laughs> this must be boring. How is this going to be like a compelling vlog? But I don't know. It felt like it would be a fun thing to film and share. And also I feel like going through clothes that no longer fit you, pregnant or not, can be kind of like a, a daunting task. I think so much of what a lot of us are conditioned with growing up is that smaller is better. If your body gets bigger, that's a bad thing. And it can be hard to like rewire your brain to be like, no, it's, it's fine. It's not a big deal. It's just clothes. I just, it's just a covering for my body. And the most important thing is to have clothes that make you feel comfortable and confident and that you enjoy wearing. So I don't know, maybe, maybe some of you guys can watch this when you're doing your own closet clean out and we can like clean out our closets together, say goodbye to the clothes that no longer fit us either forever or just for now and be able to have a, a better experience getting dressed in the morning and enjoy picking out our outfits. All right, I'm gonna get up off the floor because this is not a good position for my back. <laughs> okay, so my workout clothes drawer needs to be reorganized regardless. These three bras right here were like my top three favorites, my go-tos pre-pregnancy. They do not fit anymore. I tried to squeeze myself <laughs> into this one the other day because it's like that ribbed stretchy material and I looked like plastic surgery Barbie. My boobs were like up to my neck. <laughs> so I will be looking forward to hopefully trying these three again post-pregnancy. But will I even be able to? Because when I'm breastfeeding, my boobs are still gonna be much bigger. I'll keep them, I'll hold on to them because like I said, they were my favorites, but we may never see them again depending on how pregnancy and breastfeeding changes my boobs. <laughs> okay, so this is all of the workout stuff that I'm gonna keep. I also got rid of, I don't know, I'd say 20%. So the left two stacks are things that I would like to try on again post-pregnancy, see if they still work. And then the right two stacks here and here are things that fit me now and I'm going to reorganize back into this drawer. And this is great. I still have plenty of options to wear. I have a ton of room back there. So any of this stuff that ends up making its way back in here or any new stuff I get from Fabletics, we've got space for it. And every time I open my workout drawer, I know everything in here fits. <sighs> All right, the big one my jeans. I don't think any of these are gonna work right now, except for maybe I have this like elastic waist chambray pair of denim. that's like actually kind of a soft pant and not denim, but I do think I want to keep all of these jeans. So three, two, one, ta-da, the new jean drawer, which consists of my one pair of maternity jeans and the denim soft pants. Now I'll probably move some of the stuff from this drawer up into that drawer as well. Cause unlike the denim drawer, I do think there's a decent amount of stuff in this drawer that will still fit me that I'll keep down here. This is like my soft pants and skirts. So like all four of the soft pants here, these still fit. I have my Confident and Kind Perfect Pants from my merch. I have this pair of flowy pants from Kin by Christine. I have this pair from Madewell. These are all good to go. This skirt, <laughs> this cutie little 
zip up skirt. I tried on a couple weeks ago and it hardly zipped halfway. That was when I really started to feel like I need to get some of these clothes out of here. So this skirt's going upstairs. This skirt I think is, yeah, this is definitely fine. This skirt I tried does not fit, but I want to keep it. This skirt fits. These pants do not fit. And then I think all of these skirts really should be fine. Steven's moving the clothes upstairs now. <laughs> This is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for helping. Yep. All right, so this drawer is now skirts, and this drawer is now just all the pants. And then this bottom drawer here is just all my sweats and stuff. I don't think I need to get rid of a single pair of those. And then just underwear, socks, and pajamas, so I think we're done. I am so tired. I, I'm sweating a little bit, as you can see. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go have some water, lay down for a little bit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and edit this vlog so far, because it's already like five o'clock, and I don't wanna save all the editing for the evening. And then hopefully we'll have a nice, chill night, because I am tired. <laughs> and here are all the folding clothes that are going to go upstairs, by the way. Everything from the drawers that I want to try again after pregnancy, but don't necessarily need in my drawers for the next five or six months. All right, I'm at my desk. I've got my water. Steven is moving the clothes upstairs. Thank you so much for that, hon. Of course. That's such a help. Now, it's a little hot up here. It's actually like 75 all of a sudden. Is it? Okay, so there's a reason I'm sweating. I thought it, I was just like... Pregnancy, hot, tired. Yeah, we went from like an average of like 65, 68, and now it's like 75. So. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> uh, do you uh, want me to turn the whole house fan on? Yes, that would be Suck great. Some cold air from outside. Ooh, also, if you're going downstairs and then back up again, will you bring me my new glasses? Where are those at? Uh, they should be downstairs on the counter. I can wear these. If not, I just, Famous I like. last words. They should be. <laughs> If they're not, I, I'm just gonna wear these because zero chance I wanna go back downstairs. Why, look at my how foggy my glasses are. Is that just because I'm so sweaty? Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna edit. Let's do this. Well, we are all cuddled up here on the couch. We've got the dogs under the blanket, fireplace is going, and we watched the second Santa Claus movie. <laughs> I don't know how we got into this, like, watching all the Santa Claus, but I'm kind of here for it. See, I thought the second one was not... No. Not, mm, I think we can have the, the first Santa Claus movie in our annual Christmas movie rotation. Second one... Probably not necessary. Well, now we gotta check out the third, so. Oh, uh, maybe tomorrow, but I still wanna watch Elf before Christmas comes, which is like the four days away? I don't know. Santa four. Claus 3 takes priority, though. We gotta finish our Santa Claus marathon. Trilogy? Yeah, our tri <laughs> the epic trilogy. I cannot believe it's already the 21st. Is it the 21st? It's the 21st. There are four days left of Vlogmas. Christmas is Friday? Friday. Wow. It has absolutely flown by this year and I was just bragging to Steven that this vlogmas I have not forgotten to take a thumbnail for any of the vlogmas days usually you know some days I'll have like a, a thumbnail in mind depending on like what I have planned for that day but a lot of the times I just figure it out as I go throughout the day and the worst thing in previous vlogmas years is when I would get to the end of the day and not thought of a title, not taken a thumbnail, and then I have to like go through the footage and just try to find a frame where I'm not making like a <laughs> like a weird face and screenshot that. And every day so far, I don't want to, I guess, did I just jinx it? I don't know. <laughs> but every day so far, I have remembered to take a thumbnail. Have you had a good vlogmas? Yeah, this has been a fun month. I am really tired right now. I'm so. exhausted. <laughs> I was falling asleep during the movie. Yeah, maybe that movie was more harm than good. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, but other than that, I think we can end it today. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow with Vlogmas Day 22. Two, two. Bye. <laughs> Bye. You guys ready for bed? Miss Bella, you got your toy? <laughs> Baby, this